sorry, that would, that's for a Democrat show. Let me know when you're ready. No matter what the technical difficulty is, this man is a professional. He goes all the way. What you represent to them is freedom. Was an extremely great conservative commentator. We're tearing it up on Wednesday night. This is awesome. This will allow me to retort. Well, this is Jersey Joe for uh, the Reverb Comic Sense Show. 8 p.m. on shrmedia.com. Actually, I just totally screwed up. This show contains language that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. And now on to the show. And welcome to the Reaver of Common Sense. I am your host, Jersey Joe, and I'm making sense out of the senseless. The Jersey Takeovers here. We have expanded at two hours every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. till 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, and uh, I got to figure something out. I don't know if my intro music has been playing. That kind of... I'm having some problem with softwares lately. It's never good. Never, never, never good. Uh, let's see, where am I? Oh. Oh, uh, boy, boy, boy. Nope. Oh, yeah. I'll figure it out later. That just really bugs me. They changed some of the software and it's really making it weird. It's, it is what it is, but it still has me going, what the hell is going on here? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, I think, let me see something. Yeah, it was playing. My bad. My bad. Me make boo-boo. So, no news in it, is there? It's so calm lately. Oh, boy. Yeah. I, I, I'm... This has all been a joke. It, it really has. This whole situation is absolutely ridiculous. It... it I love that press conference yesterday. What I really find funny is the Democrat, or excuse me, the liberals, but Democrats, um, now have an issue with a president attacking the media. You know where I'm going with it. Where was this outrage from CNN and all the other liberal mouthpieces? Where was the outrage? From the Democratic Party, when Barack Obama attacked the AP, when for eight years all he did was blame Fox News. That's it. That's all that man did. Blamed everything on Fox News. That's okay. He didn't call it fake news. He just blame Fox News. It's oh, 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 oh. yeah. It, it oh, we've improved in the direction of the country. I just, I, I'm, I'm sick of it. I, I, I won't be quiet. Everybody knows that. I'm not going to be quiet. I get a little um, speechless here and there, but I'm not going to be quiet. And they're getting pissed off 
because he's not always calling on CNN. These elitists think that they are, they deserve to have a question all the time. They're to be first in line. It's like the little, what it seems like now is these uh, journalists were probably the kids that got picked on in school, always picked last. So now they're finally getting picked first, and now they're crying because they're back to the end of the line again. Oh. Deal with it. You're not the only news out there. You're not. And to be whining and crying about it and then blaming it on everybody else. Then they're like, oh, he's blaming everybody else for his problems. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Unbelievable. A little side story. Last night, it was about, I think, 1 o'clock, maybe 12.45. I'm watching TV, lights off. start hearing a lot of noise. And then I start hearing helicopter getting louder. I hear sirens. <clears throat> getting louder so I get my fat ass up go out look out back see a lot of flashy flashy lights to one side of my house in the back so I get up go out the front door see a lot of flashy flashy lights down that way the hell Going out back again. I'm out there for a while. I bring my German Shepherd with me. And then more flashy, flashy lights. A lot more sirens, and they're in my, behind my house. And the helicopter has the spotlight, and it's spotlighting across the street from my house. Okay. Let me go look out front again. Meantime, I woke my wife up. I was like, hey, hon, you got to see this? It's like the cops all over the freaking neighborhood. We got a helicopter over us. Sorry, I, I, I'm a squirrel, you know? And if you don't know what that is, well, it's an EMS fire term. So I go out front. All of a sudden, I see the cops getting real close to my house. Pull over real quick. At, uh, a couple of neighbors that I'm friends with. I see them jump out, guns drawn, and take off running behind their houses. Then I seen two cops with German Shepherds come, jump out, and I notice, doesn't look like those dogs are on leashes. Let me go inside for a moment. Okay. I go back outside. And in the meantime, I went back out back, and they got a cop car back there, and he's lighting his siren off every few seconds. What the hell is this guy doing? So I go back out front, and I I, I noticed the the, the scrum is calming down up there. Then I noticed two guys doing the perp walk. And I'm out there just chilling out. Cop car comes down. You see the guy walking around? No, sir, I heard some noise, and I did. I heard some noise. I always hear shit around my house. As I used to call the police. I used to always call them. And this isn't a bash on the law enforcement. Law enforcement are good as a whole. I have an issue with my law, local law enforcement. These young guys are coming in, and their egos are above anything that they could do. It's They think their shit don't stink. They're more worried about their physique than treating residents correctly. 
I've called because I've had explosions behind my house. And one officer comes knocking on my door as his partner is searching that area, getting on the air. Well, do you think he even knows what a bomb sounds like? And being all nasty over the air as the cop opens the door and I'm standing there. And then after he's treating me like I'm some kind of asshole, guess what goes off? Another explosion in that area. I looked down and I said, do you think that's an explosion or not? Oh, yeah, yeah. And he gets on, you heard it. Yeah, I heard it. And all attitude. And I was like, yeah, see, I do know what the hell I'm talking about. And I stopped calling. I mean, I've called about gunshots behind my house. Nothing. And then this officer last night is like, why aren't you calling? I'm like, why? So I can wait out here a friggin' hour and a half for you guys to show up and then treat me like I'm a piece of shit? And you're not interested in what's going on in the neighborhood? Oh, we're at, no, you're not. You may be. He he's, he seemed like a really nice officer and seemed like he wanted to help the community. But they got a bunch of officers running around. They, they're they more interested in doing uh, DWIs, which is important, but that's they're more interested in that than anything else. And Hillsborough County Sheriff's Department does not bother itself with the communities. It treats us like shit. I, I've had issues at my house. I've seen the officers over at my parents' house, the way they treated my father. Had someone run, driving across uh, that little uh, section between the sidewalk and the street. Kept driving across his, they know the park that's in front of his house. My dad takes care of that. 75 years old, out there making sure the lawn, trying trying to make sure the lawn looks good. And the neighbors would drive straight across it. The officer sat there, look, that's not your problem. Nothing I can do. And, you know, just acted like an asshole. Was so disingenuous and didn't give a shit. It's... And that's the way these officers are acting lately. They can't be bothered. So, this is the way we look at it in my neighborhood. There's a bunch of us that talk. We watch, not just our houses, the other houses too. We'll try to take care of our thing. Why? Why call the police anymore? You know, and... I had an issue. Uh, someone was actually trying to actively break in my house. They were trying to take the screen out. I can hear it. I'm standing there. I call the police. 45 minutes later, they show up. Now, this is like 2 o'clock in the morning. I have scanners. I, I, I know. I'm not dumb. They show up. Well, we were told that he wasn't on premises. I said, no, I said I didn't know when I was asked. I'm not outside. I didn't know if he was still here. Well, at that point, it's not an emergency call. Well, ended up talking to a lieutenant the next day. And one of the things I pointed out was, I forget what level court it went to. It's not that police departments get to judge what's an emergency. It's the citizens. If we feel it's an emergency, it is an emergency. Because how many times, and I I even asked the lieutenant, how many times is something called in one way, and it turns out to be something even worse than what was called in? Well, a lot of times. So you're judging by the dispatch coming in and changing the priority, and it's worse than it is. And because of your delays, well, there shouldn't have been no delay on this. Well, there is all the time. And I'm not against law enforcement. I'm not. I've worked with those guys for years. Hand in hand with them. It's just down where I'm at. 
the way they're training these guys, they're training them all ego and not help the people. I see it in the fire. In EMS, I've gotten in arguments on calls back when I was still able to do it. I almost got in a fist fight with one of them. I did, wasn't starting it. Their guy was losing his shit. I have to do the transport. Oh, and this reminds me, I guess I shouldn't tell these stories because I got told I'm a liar. <laughs> I'm too stupid to be an EMT. Uh, but yeah, going back, I'm the one that has to transport. I'm the one that's taking patient care. I'm the one that has to answer to the doctors. I haven't done anything to the patient because the medic on the fire truck and anybody that's been around knows that medic on the fire trucks. They know their basics of their profession. But most of them, most of them, um, they don't practice on a regular basis. So they mummify this guy on the head. All these bandages. I can't see the wound. I can't describe the wound. Backboard collared. So I start asking him. You know, I walk up and I talk to the guy real quick. He's drunk as a skunk. And I'm asking the medic, why all the bandages? Was he was there a cut? Is he bleeding? He's getting pissed off at me for asking. And you mean, how dare you? I said, no, I need answers. I, I got my reports to write. Well, he's got a bump on his head. Okay. He's got me got brain damage. He's slurring his speech. I looked over the guy. Hey, boss, how much did you drink tonight? Oh, I had about five shots of vodka and about 12 beers. Hmm. Looked at the medic and said, could that be why he's slurring his speech? Why has he got a neck brace and collar? Ah, oh, he got hit in the head. You got to do that. Hey, boss, you have any neck pains? No, I don't know. I don't mind this crap. Um, did you get hit with a bat? No, nah, a guy hit me in the head and I took off running. Oh, where'd you run? Uh, you see that bar down there about two blocks? Yeah, I see that little blink of light two blocks away. Yeah, I sprinted from there down to here and called the cops. And then this guy put me in all this shit. I was like, really? You put him in all this? Well, he's slurring his speech. He got brain damage and the punch could have broken his neck. Was the guy about the size of a bodybuilder? No, he was the same size as me. I'm looking at the guy going, you do know you put this guy in extra pain by doing all this. I'm just following my protocols. I'm looking at the captain. I'm like, dude. And the guy's getting up. He's getting in my face. He's balling his fist up. Captain stepped into it. I was like, listen. I haven't taken patient care, so you can load my patient, that patient up on my stretcher. And while you're at it, you can put the stretcher in my rig. Oh, I don't take fucking orders from you. You Captain turns around and goes, yeah, but you can take orders from me. You can go ahead and do what he just told you and anything else he tells you. And the captain's sitting there laughing at him. And I looked at the captain. I said, I'm sorry, Captain. I got, he goes, no, you have the right to question. You're taking patient care. You need to know. And he's doing this in front of his guy. I'm like, I'm not trying to start any issue. Oh, it's just funny. It, it, but I've I've been at the bars, the other fire medics. And, of course, I've had my station stuff from up north on. They'll come up hey, blah, 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 and start talking to me. What do you think of us? I've told them. You don't impress me. Oh, they get so pissed off. Why not? Well, would, would you do this to save your patient? Oh, no, 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 no. Why not? My pension. All right, would you just, oh, no, 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 I might hurt, I might get hurt. I, no, 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 I'm putting my life on the line. Uh, How would you handle this situation? Oh, the book says. And I looked down and I said, and you wonder why I have no respect for you. Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking, how many years have you been doing? Oh, I've been doing it six years. And I looked down and I've been doing it about 15, 20 years. So, um, yeah. Come to me then. Even back in the days, uh, I was working in a hospital, and they got these monstrosity of ambulances. They got the um, international ambulances. And they were kind of designed for out west, 
where you're going to have transport times of three, four hours. So you need a large stock of uh, items, would you, at all times. And this guy's going on. I'm like, you don't need it. And, oh, yeah, we do. I was like, I bet you I go in there and about half the cabinets are empty because you don't need all that stock. It'll expire on you. I was like, I'll bet you my paycheck to your paycheck. Oh, 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 you see, you're not allowed on there. You're not authorized. And Lieutenant looks, because I usually got along with the officers, because they were the older guys. They were brought into the system the same way I was. And they would look, and he looked at me and goes, he has permission to go in there. And the guy, just, I'm not taking that bet, and walked away. Then Lieutenant looked over. Yeah, cabinets are half empty. They spend this big money on these rigs to justify their big budgets. And sometimes they have to play that game. I'm not trying to knock it totally, but it's gone out of hand in several departments I've seen. They they do it so that they can get the uh, manpower that they need. But then it kind of snowballs from there. And I love how that we follow the book. We follow the book. They got three man, three men on the truck. You're not following the book. Well, enough about that. That was a total off the script, so to speak. Uh, you're listening to the Reverb Common Sense. Oops, helps if I have everything prepped. You're listening to the Reverb Common Sense right here on SHR Media and High Plains Radio. We will be right back. Listening to the SHR Media Network. Breaking news. According to the latest report coming out of SHR Media, a merchandise store to support both the Reaver of Common Sense and SHR Media has just been unleashed to the general public. Be forewarned that this site can be contagious and numerous items can be purchased to support the best news programming. Go to Reaver.one website and click on the store link to check out the merchandise. You have been listening to Reaver of Common Sense, hosted by my dad, Jersey Joe. Beware, the Jersey Takeover is here. Every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Reaver of Common Sense Show, hosted by Jersey Joe, right here on shrmedia.com and hyphensdailynews.com. Only Jersey can deliver hell like no one else, so consider this your fair warning. Wednesday night, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Southside Mutt Show with its host, the Jersey Boys, Jersey Joe and Crash, right here on SHR Media and High Plains Pundit Radio, where we will be digging up the dirt.
Times are dark. The people misled by corrupt politicians, lied to by establishment media, and deceived by the false messages of Islam. A nation in confusion needs a guide. It needs a man with a cane. I'm Dave Milner. Join me on Spreaker, SHR Media, High Plains Talk Radio, Live Rebooting Liberty, and YouTube for a unique brand of commentary on the Unpleasant Blind Guy. Because truth is not always pleasant. If you miss a show, don't worry. You can catch the replays two ways, RebootingLiberty.com or the ReverbCommonSense.com. While you're there on Reverb Common Sense, don't forget, drop in your email and keep up to date on everything going on, or click the like button on the Facebook widget. Now on to the Reverb of Common Sense. Listening to the SHR Media Network. This show contains language that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. And now on to the show. And welcome back to the Reaver Common Sense Show. I'm your host, Jersey Joe, and I'm making sense out of the senseless. Uh, Schumer's running his mouth saying that he wants an independent prosecutor to look into Flynn. You know what? You could wish in one hand and shit in the other. We didn't get a goddamn independent prosecutor. You shouldn't get shit either. And yes, I'm playing that card. They've been playing that card for a while now. So you know what? No. I would tell them outright, no, there's no need for it. There's no conflict. Just because you're whining like a little bitch doesn't mean you get what you want, Schumer. Where was the independent uh, prosecutor for Hillary Clinton? Especially after the AG... A.G. has a private meeting with the suspect's husband. She should have been recused. There should have been an independent investigator on that one, especially since she worked for Obama. I didn't. No, 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 no. Obama needs to tell him where to pound sand right away. independent you know what this is gonna be a messed up couple years i am not no no (laughs) yeah no Blood pressure down, blood pressure down. Let's see. uh, What next lovely topics do we have? I ain't know where that article goes. There it is. (laughs) Ask and you shall receive. The Democrats don't really want to um, talk about Russia too much. They're using it as a distraction. It's it's a little bit of a joke because You have these uh, Republicans doing what they normally do, running for cover because they're too much of a pussy to stand up and fight. So they're, oh, 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 oh Trump, oh, I don't know him, um, but things are going good. Oh, we're great friends. A little issue happens. <coughs> and they're, oh, um, 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 um. Trump should do something about this. He should encourage a Russian probe, but make sure he expands it and brings it back to 2007-2008 campaign to make sure to make sure that it's a bipartisan investigation. 
There's no evidence of anything. None. No evidence. Just a lot of uh, accusations from the left, which they always do. Part of their part of what they do, they make these accusations nonstop. We know Hillary Clinton has had a lot of, a lot of questionable links to Russia. We know her uh, campaign chair, John Podesta, boards a position in the Russian link company and Clinton's foundation in that little shady uh, uranium deal. The Obama administration gave so much up to uh, Russia during... 20, 2009 to 2014. It was a Russian proxy, I guess you can call it. I, it you know, they uh, they really should watch what they talk about. And Ob- Trump, yes, expand it. Give them their investigation. Make sure you expand it. Look into this Russian reset. How close were they and why was Hillary Clinton as Secretary of State going to Putin's house. How about the fact that we had, <clears throat> they talk about NATO and how we have to support them. How about the fact that um, Obama tore down the missile defense that allowed Putin to invade Crimea? In 2010, the New START Treaty, it's something that Obama was renewing uh, renewing his undergrad interest in, arms reduction, signed a one-sided treaty that effectively calls for steeper reductions in American side than on the Russian side, and it was ratified. The treaty was ratified by Congress. It was the 2011 Obama administration finally concludes that Russia has been cheating on the 1987 Intermediate Range Nuclear Force Treaty. But nevertheless, the administration waits two years to object and press ahead for further arms reduction. Now, remember, we Obama tore down the missile defense of NATO in the European front. Obama tore down the NATO missile defense in Europe, which allowed, under objection, saying it was going to allow uh, Russia to attack. Twenty twelve, we have a hot mic. President Obama is caught on live microphone asking Russian President Medvedev to convey to then Prime Minister. Vladimir Putin, that he would have more flexibility on missile defense after the election. Oh, yes, we need to uh, investigate Russia because there does look like there is an administration that had collusion with Russia. And it was Obama's administration. Twenty thirteen Syria. Embarrassed by Syria's breach of Obama's red line on the use of chemical weapons, Se- Secretary of State John Kerry agrees to a Russia broker deal to dispose of a regime weapons that leaves dictator Rashad Al Assad in power. Remember the red line? Nothing done. Remember in August of 2008 when Russia invaded Georgia? Then Senator Obama produced a very weak response calling on all sides to refrain from violence. Campaign aide Michael McFaul, I think that's what it, M-C-F-A-U-L. McFaul was already in Moscow before Election Day meeting with Russian officials. He told the Washington Post that he was careful never to signal pending policy changes before Obama took office. 
How do we know? Why was he in Moscow talking with Russian officials? Then in about 2014, that Obama-Putin love story soured when Russia invaded Khmer, leaving Kerry sputtering about 14th century rules. Up until then, it was appeasing. Even after then, it still appeased Russia. So let the Senate announce a thorough investigation into Russian influence. Let it, but make sure, make sure that it involves Obama's administration, put Obama and Clinton on on the stand. They want an investigation? Let's investigate, and let's make sure that there was no hanky-panky going on with the Russian, or excuse me, the Obama administration. Because everything I've seen, there's more collusion between Obama and Putin than there is between Trump and Putin. If anything, Russia would want Hillary Clinton in office. Maybe they could get more uranium if they gave more money to the Clinton Foundation. She was weak on any type of military response. Russia would be able to get more land. <clears throat> you start expanding it, saying we'll do a bipartisan, but we're going to expand it to this. You're going to see the Democrats back away from it. That's why they're also running their mouth. And I always say, when they're running their mouth about something, take a look behind the curtain. Because that's the funny part. They were blaming uh, Trump on all this when John, John Podesta sat on the board. His daughter owned some companies or something that dealt with Russia all the time. There was Russia connection between Hillary Clinton and Russia and Putin. It was a very one-sided. <laughs> and it's very one-sided with the Democrats. Obama tore down the missile defense with Russia giving up nothing to allow Russia to evade into Europe, into Georgia, into Crimea, into Czech. I think it was Czech Republic. So many countries, so little memory. But you get what I'm going at with this. You get what the smack I'm laying down on your Rudy Tootie Candy ass. Don't ask me why, that just popped in my head. Um, ah, something in my eye. Ah, my nerves. I keep looking out the window, too. I've only signed an interview, so I'm really hoping it goes good. It's, they're putting up this big front, the Democrats are, this whole uh, Russia interfered in our election bullshit, they were putting out misinformation, Russia's been doing that for years, we've been doing it to Russia, we've been doing it to all the other countries, and then they get all, oh my god, you said we did it, yes we do it, and they damn well know it. Yeah, many crickets. You know what? Russia has been paying into um, Greenpeace on um, the, the fracking because the fracking's hurting their exports. So they're putting out false information about fracking. 
Jesus Christ, they have no problem with that one. Uh, Washington Post is paid to run Russia misinformation. But they're going to attack Trump? Washington Post is? Oh, come on. Anybody else see the hypocrisy here that's going on? You're listening to the Reaver of Common Sense right here on SHR Media and High Plains Radio. We will be right back. Breaking news, according to the latest report coming out of SHR Media, a merchandise store to support both the Reaver of Common Sense and SHR Media has just been unleashed to the general public. Be forewarned that this site can be contagious and numerous items can be purchased to support the best news programming. Go to Reaver.one website and click on the store link to check out the merchandise. We were a common sense hosted by my dad, Jersey Joe. Beware, the Jersey Takeover is here. Every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Center Time, you can catch the Rework Common Sense Show hosted by Jersey Joe. Right here on shrmedia.com and hyphensdailynews.com. Only Jersey can deliver hell like no one else. So consider this your fair warning.
terrible man. A team of ordinary men emerge from the ashes to give voice to the voiceless and hope to the hopeless. Sackhead Sean. Dude, I'm not saying cat for the stupid pro. Sackhead Clint. All good friends of ours usually show, show up, up drunk. drunk. Also starring Sako as the producer. I'm a little bit drunk, I'm a little bit drunk, cause I'm drinking, drinking, drinking. They are the Sackheads Radio Show. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific on SHRmedia.com. Every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Southside Mutt Show with its hosts, the Jersey Boys, Jersey Joe and Crash, right here on SHR Media and High Plains Pundit Radio, where we will be digging up the dirt. Times are dark. The people misled by corrupt politicians, lied to by establishment media, and deceived by the false messages of Islam. A nation in confusion needs a guide. It needs a man with a cane. I'm Dave Milner. Join me on Spreaker, SHR Media, High Plains Talk Radio, Live Rebooting Liberty, and YouTube for a unique brand of commentary on the Unpleasant Blind Guy. Because truth is not always pleasant. If you miss a show, don't worry. You can catch the replays two ways, RebootingLiberty.com or the ReverbCommonSense.com. While you're there on Reverb Common Sense, don't forget, drop in your email and keep up to date on everything going on, or click the like button on the Facebook widget. Now on to the Reverb of Common Sense. Listening to the SHR Media Network. This show contains language that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. And now on to the show. And welcome back to the Reaver of Common Sense. I am your host, Jersey Joe, and I'm making sense out of the senseless, senseless. Oh boy. All right. Where are we? Kind of lost track. Totally lost track. Let's see where we are. Ole. So the news media has been reporting on plans by a coalition of acti- activist groups to hold a massive anti-Trump tax march in Washington and at least 60 other locations on April 15th. It's so original. Oh. So what they plan on doing is they're going to hold this little protest and it's uh, there's also another group they say don't pay your taxes why am i doing that i don't know um sorry it just when i think of these people i think of a very weak and, and i shouldn't say it because people talk like that aren't weak it's just oh my god it, it, i'm not gonna pay my taxes on april 15th i'm i'm, I'm protesting i'm i'm gonna refuse to pay my taxes this year oh my god you do know that's illegal, you morons. It's a protest. They can't touch me. Oh, my God. Illegal immigrants run to a church for a sanctuary in Colorado. Listen. There's no posses running around. The law is being enforced where it was ignored for many, many years. 
People are surprised about it. Oh my god. The law is being enforced. Oh my god. How dare he enforce the law? Well, how dare they enforce the law on uh, Flynn? How dare they? Why don't we get to ignore those laws? Um... Seriously, can we ignore those laws because we don't agree with them? I bet you if uh, Trump did that, the liberals would be flipping the fuck out. Excuse my language. I mean, they would. Oh, my God. He's not listening to the law. The law says that he can't talk about X, Y, and Z. And you're promoting people to break the law, to be here illegally, to break our immigration laws. And yes, you are promoting it by failing to do anything about it. Even my basic little pea brain can understand that. Freaking ridiculous. We get to ignore what laws we don't agree with now. And that's exactly what they're doing. So don't, don't, don't kid yourself. It's they are, are they are out to try to tear this down, hell or high water. They don't give a rat's patootie. <clears throat> Sorry, it, it's amazing the silence from that side when it comes to you know the fact that they're actually uh, uh, promoting law breaking. But then they, oh my God, how dare he? He talked to Russia. The law says. <sighs> law says a lot of things. And the Democrats do not follow it. And if you think they're following the law, you need to look into basic definitions. Because the Democrats don't know basic definitions. I'm just amazed. Ah, but yeah, there's a the website for the march, which is slated for the deadline uh, for Americans to file their taxes, claims that it, it is missions. It is their mission to get Trump to release his tax returns and more. President Trump needs to be straight with American people. To whom does he owe favors? Who are his policies really intended to benefit? Who will he put first? Working families are struggling to make ends meet, but we pay out fair share in taxes. Does Donald Trump pay any at all? Oh, my God. He pays about as much as Hillary Clinton. These are all just... They're throwing 
the whole kitchen at the wall. Here. Let's see if any of it sticks. It didn't. Do they actually think these uh, uh, protests are... I, mean, I wonder, are they actually changing people's minds? Because I look at him, I just laugh. It shows me that he's on the right path. If the, so many of these little pissant groups are screaming, that says, holy shit, he's doing something right. It's the more they protest, the more it tells me he's doing something right. The more they cry and whine. the more it tells me he's doing something right. They are... They're out there protesting for what? Because they lost... And that's what it comes down to. Not because eh, they lost. We tried it your ways for eight years. Like you said. The economy sucks out there. Working families are struggling. Why? Because the last eight years policies did nothing for the middle class except destroy it. And now you want more time? You're listening to the Reaver Common Sense right here on SHR Media and High Plains Radio. We will be right back. Listening to the SHR Media Network. Breaking news. According to the latest report coming out of SHR Media, a merchandise store to support both the Reaver of Common Sense and SHR Media has just been unleashed to the general public. Be forewarned that this site can be contagious and numerous items can be purchased to support the best news programming. Go to Reaver.one website and click on the store link to check out the merchandise. We were a common sense hosted by my dad, Jersey Joe. Beware, the Jersey Takeover is here. Every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Reaver of Common Sense show hosted by Jersey Joe. Right here on shrmedia.com and highplainsdailynews.com. Only Jersey can deliver hell like no one else. So consider this your fair warning. In a world controlled by corrupt politicians. You got a business. That You didn't build that. A team of ordinary men emerge from the ashes to give voice to the voiceless and hope to the hopeless. Sackhead Sean. Dude, I'm not saying Catholic is stupid, bro. Sackhead Clint. I'm 
all good friends of ours usually show, show up drunk. drunk. Absolutely. Also starring Socko as the producer. I'm a little bit drunk, I'm a little bit drunk, cause I'm drinking, drinking, drinking. They are the Sackheads Radio Show. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific on shrmedia.com. Every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Southside Mud Show with its host, the Jersey Boys, Jersey Joe and Crash, right here on SHR Media and High Plains Pundit Radio, where we will be digging up the dirt. Times are dark. The people misled by corrupt politicians, lied to by establishment media, and deceived by the false messages of Islam. A nation in confusion needs a guide. It needs a man with a cane. I'm Dave Milner. Join me on Spreaker, SHR Media, High Plains Talk Radio, Live Rebooting Liberty, and YouTube for a unique brand of commentary on the Unpleasant Blind Guy. Because truth is not always pleasant. If you miss a show, don't worry. You can catch the replays two ways, RebootingLiberty.com or the ReverbCommonSense.com. While you're there on Reverb Common Sense, don't forget, drop in your email and keep up to date on everything going on, or click the like button on the Facebook widget. Now on to the Reverb of Common Sense. Listening to the SHR Media Network. This show contains language that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. And now on to the show. And welcome back to the Reverb Common Sense. I am your host, Josie Joe, and I'm making sense out of the senseless. Oh boy. It. it. It's not going to be a dull moment. We can definitely say that. Definitely. Definitely say that. Definitely. Definitely. They're not going to go quietly. They're going to try to cause as much issues as they can. But realistically, they are powerless. Like they're going to cause as much issues as they can. I'm just holy, holy for holy people. Seriously, it, it. If they actually cared about the country, they'd be trying to say, "Okay, all right, all right. We know, we know." Actually, let me go back to something else real quick. This whole uh, tax march. And they broast that they are uh, um, proud to have grateful support from American Federation of Teachers, Americans for Tax Fairness, Center for Popular Democracy, Indivisible Project, Our Revolution, The Working Family Party, and MoveOn.org. But wait a minute. American for Tax Fairness is a recipient of a grant from the Soros Open Society Foundation U.S. programs. MoveOn.org is a Soros program. Um, the American Federation of Teachers Educational Foundation, the nonprofit arm of the American Federation of Teachers, was financed by Strategic Opportunities Funded Fund of Soros Open Society Foundation. The Center for Popular, Popular Democracy is led by Sorrel Tide activists. It just keeps going back to George Sorrell. He was the puppet master of Hillary Clinton. He is the puppet master 
of the invasion of Europe. I bet you if we look, he would have ties to ISIS. Dollars to donuts. For those that are all, we want the refugees. We want refugees in our countries. It's so mean to do it. Go live in France. Go live in France and move to Paris. The police are running away from the mobs of Muslims attacking them. That's what we'll have here. This is not just France that it's happened. It's happening all over Europe. That is what you are trying to bring to this country, and that is what I am trying to fight against. I am not trying to fight against a religion. I'm trying to fight against a group that has twisted, uh, gone back to the original, uh, what, however you want to put it. That's what I'm fighting against. I don't care if it was Christianity, if there was an arm of Christianity that was doing this, I would be against them. If there was an arm of Jews doing this, I'd be against them. Buddhists, Hindu, Zimbabwe's, um, Wiccas, Satanists, Yo Mamas. I don't care what the religion is. If you are doing this, I would try to block you from the country. France is in shambles right now. But of course, the liberals say this is a great thing. It will help our country. It will make us diverse. The raping of our women will be great. The mistreatment of our women. Oh, such a great thing. I mean, oh. been fighting for women's right, dealing with Democrats, demeaning us for trying to do what's right. And what do we have again? Democrats demeaning people who are trying to protect the country. Oh, what a shocker. Does that shock anybody? I, I, I'm I'm amazed that this is what our Democrats want. They're so for it. Ooh, good me. Had a little burpee there. Got a ginger ale, so sorry. My bad. It's I have yet to see any policy or anything that the Democrats have done of late that has been to the protection of the United States of America. What I keep seeing them do is push policies that help other countries. And what's even worse is before I got in this, all the, I used to be neutral and everything. You know, I thought Clinton did a good job as a president. I didn't have a major issue. And then here comes Obama, lying nonstop to us, pushing people away from the party, waking people up, and started getting us to look into facts. Damn, was I blind and ignorant. I'm sitting there looking, going, Clinton was a piece of shit president. He destroyed our economy. 
Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't Fox talking. I know. I, that's their go-to when you say something negative. <laughs> you just listen to Fox too much. No. I don't listen to Fox. I don't listen to CNN. I don't listen to M- MSNBC. Why? Because they're television stations. They have to do things to promote ratings. So their sponsors make money so that they make money. Now, there's this thing called Google or whatever web search you want to use. Insert name here. But that's their go-to if they don't like your opinion. I've had my father-in-law do that to me. You need to stop going to so many conservative sites. You need to stop kissing so much liberal ass then. You know, the talking points is getting ridiculous. I can almost have the two-sided conversation with them. When I make my comments, I know what they're coming back with most times. It might be worded a little bit different, but I know what they're going to come back with me. That's how scripted they are anymore. I love it. Stop listening to Fox. Stop listening to MSNBC and CNN. They're fake news. Oh, that pisses them all. You're the ones that made a big deal about fake news from the ones that create the biggest fake news. Understand this, you jackasses. You now have a group that will not take the shit like pass conservatives did we're not gonna sit here and put up with all the bullshit people we're gonna fight back and we're gonna fight back hard you're not uh, the normal uh, democrat party you're not the normal liberals (coughs) guess what we're not the normal conservatives we fight back I'm not going to sit here and let someone beat up on me like uh, some conservative used to and start apologizing like they used to just because you throw around a few terms. I'm not impressed. And I won't sit back and let you abuse me. I fight back. And they're not used to it. They don't know what the hell to do right now. They're like the abusive husband, and all of a sudden the wife turns around and hits him upside the head with a baseball bat. What the hell? What what were you doing? They think they're like... They think they'd be more edumacated because they had some college that they paid $40,000 to tell them how to think. Well, I've learned from real life, not some uh, 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 school. I learned real education, what it's like out there in the real world, not from somebody telling me. I didn't need some professor to tell me how life is, how his sheltered little life as a professor is. I learned the real way. And that pisses them off. Because they think they're smarter. They're told they're smarter because they wasted $40,000 on an education. I don't want to say waste. It's a bad word. Having an education isn't bad. Going to college isn't bad. I- I'm not saying that. But you know what? doesn't mean that you're smarter than somebody. I get so tired of that. God. I went and spent forty thousand dollars to have a pre- professor lecture me and tell me how life is, and I'm smarter than you because of it. No, you're not. But you're a racist. <laughs> oh my God. 
It's so predictable. They are so predictable. Oh, what are we going to do? Just keep fighting. Keep fighting, people. Non stopola. Yeah, the wife's home. Oh, hopefully it went good. It It's gonna be it's gonna be a rough couple of years, but it, we'll get through it. I know we will. I know we'll get through it. And with that, uh, you're listening to the Reaver of Common Sense right here on SHR Media and High Plains Radio. We will be right back. Conservative media done right. You're listening to the SHR Media Network. Breaking news. According to the latest report coming out of SHR Media, a merchandise store to support both the Reaver of Common Sense and SHR Media has just been unleashed to the general public. Be forewarned that this site can be contagious and numerous items can be purchased to support the best news programming. Go to Reaver.one website and click on the store link to check out the merchandise. We were a common sense hosted by my dad, Jersey Joe. Beware, the Jersey Takeover is here. Every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Center Time, you can catch the Rework Common Sense Show hosted by Jersey Joe. Right here on shrmedia.com and highplainsdailynews.com. Only Jersey can deliver hell like no one else. So consider this your fair warning. In a world controlled by corrupt politicians. You got a business. That You didn't build that. A team of ordinary men emerge from the ashes to give voice to the voiceless and hope to the hopeless. Sackhead Sean. Dude, I'm not saying calf is stupid, bro. Sackhead Clint. All good friends of ours usually show, show up drunk. drunk. Also starring Sako as the producer. I'm a little bit drunk, I'm a little bit drunk, cause I'm drinking, drinking, drinking. They are the Sackheads Radio Show. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific on shrmedia.com. Every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Southside Mutt Show with its hosts, the Jersey Boys, Jersey Joe and Crash, right here on SHR Media and High Plains Pundit Radio, where we will be digging up the dirt. Times are dark. The people misled by corrupt politicians, lied to by establishment media, and deceived by the false messages of Islam. A nation in confusion needs a guide. It needs a man with a cane. I'm Dave Milner. Join me on Spreaker, SHR Media, High Plains Talk Radio, Live Rebooting Liberty, and YouTube for a unique brand of commentary on the Unpleasant Blind Guy. Because truth is not always pleasant. 
If you miss a show, don't worry. You can catch the replays two ways, RebootingLiberty.com or the ReverbCommonSense.com. While you're there on Reverb Common Sense, don't forget, drop in your email and keep up to date on everything going on, or click the like button on the Facebook widget. Now on to the Reverb of Common Sense. This show contains language that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. And now on to the show. And welcome back to the Reaver of Common Sense. I'm your host, Josie Joe, and I'm trying to make sense out of a census. Senseless. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm actually in a good mood today. Seems like I actually got some rest last night. It's a rarity. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. French police getting ran out. I mean, there's videos. You can find the videos, no problem. The French police are running from uh, rioters. Uh, some are saying uh, certain neighborhoods are lost. Uh, that's not too good. So, um, I think it was yesterday Trump signed a resolution uh, overturning President uh, Obama's stream protection rule issued by the Department of the Interior during his last weeks in office. Uh, it was a jo- it was a, just a, a, a swipe at the coal mining industry. Coal mining isn't that bad. I get tired of it. They never do this and that. There's a lot more worse shit. The lithium mines that uh, they're so big on. Lithium batteries. The lithium mines are more damaging and more poisonous to this planet than anything. Oh, my God. Drives me nuts when they're so one-sided. Coal-burning plants are very environmentally safe. They give off very little, very little toxins. It's... I don't know. They talk about, well, he's probably getting paid by coal. Yeah, you're probably getting paid by, what, wind turbines or uh, solar panels or what. You know, all these alternatives have, and they don't have that big of a um, upside as people think. Not cheaper, not better. Solar panel, you're replacing the panels too often. You don't even get the first set paid off. Um, wind turbines, that one's pretty clean, but then you're killing birds. It's like, damn, no matter which route you go, uh, there's a lot of issues with Solar panels, um, trip hazards, the uh, electrical flow. Uh, just it, there's issue after issue. I just. Obama did a swipe, and he puts them in, so kind of like now they go, oh, he don't care about the environment. He don't care. Yeah, he does. But he also cares about energy that is affordable. They love to use that word, affordable, to all. Because the energy is getting unaffordable. I want to get off of uh, independence from Middle East oil. Maybe if we stop buying Middle East oil, we'll start defunding some of this terrorism. We start becoming a little self-sufficient. That's the funny thing is they don't want us to do any drilling. Let's remain on Middle East oil. Yeah. 
and that Middle East oil pays for the terrorism. So before we sit there and, and want to do away with everything, you know, we could do things a little safe over here, too, for the environment, but still get independent oil. Oh, my God. Uh, Jack Taper says that the President Trump's news conference was unhinged and wild. As everybody was laughing, including the media was laughing with him. They were going back for Did Trump pitch into him a little bit? Yes. It wasn't unhinged. It wasn't wild. It wasn't the end of days. Delegitimizing of the press is not is on American. Oh, please get the fuck off of it. You don't like it because you're ridiculous. Your one sided reporting is being pointed out. You're being proved to be nothing but a joke. And it's upsetting you. Because the truth is coming out and you're being shown who you are. Chuck Todd, Taper, all those joke of so called journalism. You're nothing more than a wing of the Democrat Party. You became their little bitches. And now you're upset that people are finding out just what sorry pieces of crap you are. It just, oh my God. It was on him. Oh my God. He chastised us. Oh, someone said something about us. Oh, again, you had no problem. No problem. You sat there and laughed when Obama went after Fox. You shut your mouth like little bitches. That was acceptable because you were the golden child at that time. Now, oh, my God, they're yelling at us. Bobby. Oh, my God, Taper. Get the fuck over yourself. Just get over yourself. almost comical almost you know it's they were laughing yeah we're laughing at you taper we're laughing at you chuck todd we're laughing at you cnn cnn it hasn't hurt us it hasn't hurt us bullshit it hasn't you haven't had any good ratings in how long Please. And Limbaugh said, all right, Trump is the watchdog keeping the media honest. The media is a mouthpiece for the liberal party anymore. And that's it. There's no independent journalism. There's no partisan, bipartisan journalism. They're a bunch of hacks. Hacks. You know, and they're all <laughs> Trump was mean to us. Trump was mean to us. How dare he? Oh, Did he hurt your little feelings? Do I need to bring a little doll to see where Trump hurt you? Get the fuck over it. Act like men. You've been going at Trump, attacking him. He fires back. You cry yourself to sleep. Oh, my God. It's just too funny. It would be very funny if it wasn't so sad at the same time. You know, it's... It's disgusting. At the same time, he, uh, the taper, Tapper is trying to tell Trump 
to stop whining and get to work. Yeah, how about he take his own advice and stop whining and get some work done? Stop. Get your head out of the ass. I guess you can't do anything, taper, tapper, unless the DNC helps you. Yeah, as you were given the questions, you were colluding with the De- Democrat Party. And you want to talk about, oh my God. You're not the media. You are a mouthpiece for the Democrat Party. Your uh, uh, respectability went out the window a long time ago. You know, uh, the media, I wouldn't trust them if they told me the sky was blue outside. I'd have to go out and look. That's how much mistrust I have for the media right now. If they told me the sky was blue, I would have to go outside and look. And that's even Fox News. Ooh, I just cracked my neck. Oh, that felt good. I mean, I'm starting to get a headache, and I felt, gave a little push and crack. Anybody that's ever had the issue knows when you crack that neck, there's that, ah. Yeah, tapering. Oh my god. <laughs> you picking on us. That's what it sounds. <laughs> you need to stop whining and go back to work. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and he actually said you legitimately want now they're saying that because they were getting smacked around like a little bitch on that. Oh piss off about it. I'm tired of it. Uh, it's not going to change anything anytime soon. So, but yes, it, 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 I really want to reiterate: if they, the Democrats and the liberals, and they want an investigation, tell you what, we should give an investigation. But we're going to open it up all the way back to twenty oh seven, and we're going to look at Democrats and Republicans alike, and we're going to look into it nice and deep. Start taking a look into what they knew. Jesus Christ, they had a guy freaking in Moscow. Could you imagine if there was a leak on that? Oh, my God. They would have lost their minds. They would have lost it. I just, I, I don't know. They want an investigation. Let's give an investigation. Let's really look deep because there was so much uh, um, blocking Let's look into Hillary Clinton. Let's look into the Clinton Foundation and their connections to Russia. Let's look at Hillary Clinton's connection with uh, Clinton Foundation. They were, oh, no, well, she's not president. We don't need to look at her, right? Squawk. She's not president. She's not the president. Squawk. Well, you know what? You want to look? Let's look. Let's pull that cover off fully yeah they don't want that cover taken off they like that veil when it comes to hiding their legitimacy polywana cracker oh That could have changed anytime soon. Democrats are the Democrats. They are going to whine because they want their way. And now there's some Republicans in office 
that aren't going to bend over or run away just because they say something. It's the same old, same old. But you're listening to the Reverb Common Sense right here on SHR Media and High Plains Radio, and we will be right back. Listening to the SHR Media Network. Breaking news. According to the latest report coming out of SHR Media, a merchandise store to support both the Reaver of Common Sense and SHR Media has just been unleashed to the general public. Be forewarned that this site can be contagious and numerous items can be purchased to support the best news programming. Go to Reaver.one website and click on the store link to check out the merchandise. You have been listening to Reaver Common Sense, hosted by my dad, Jersey Joe. Beware, the Jersey Takeover is here. Every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Reaver of Common Sense Show, hosted by Jersey Joe, right here on shrmedia.com and hyphensdailynews.com. Only Jersey can deliver hell like no one else, so consider this your fair warning. Wednesday night, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Southside Mutt Show with its hosts, the Jersey Boys, Jersey Joe and Crash, right here on SHR Media and High Plains Pundit Radio, where we will be digging up the dirt. Times are dark. The people misled by corrupt politicians, lied to by establishment media, and deceived by the false messages of Islam. A nation in confusion needs a guide. It needs a man with a cane. I'm Dave Milner. Join me on Spreaker, SHR Media, High Plains Talk Radio, Live Rebooting Liberty, and YouTube for a unique brand of commentary on the Unpleasant Blind Guy. Because truth is not always pleasant. If you miss a show, don't worry. You can catch the replays two ways, RebootingLiberty.com or the ReverbCommonSense.com. While you're there on Reverb Common Sense, don't forget, drop in your email and keep up to date on everything going on, or click the like button on the Facebook widget. Now on to the Reverb of Common Sense.
listening to the SHR Media Network. This show contains language that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. And now on to the show. And welcome to the Reaver of Common Sense. I am your host, Jersey Joe. And I'm trying to make sense out of the senseless. This is weird. This is weird. A reinspection may be made required. Call for him before proceedings. I got something on uh, my door from the county. It's really weird. Correction. I don't know. So. Oh, it's if it's not one thing, it's another. Always something going on. Always something. And, and I don't know. The media is in full freakout mode. They've lost it. They're getting exposed for being a joke, and they just they don't know what to do. And then you have the fake news of the New York Times and New York Daily News and Huffington Post. GOP helping mentally ill get guns because they're revoking a um, Social Security gun ban. That had to do with if you had financial issues and you were on Social Security, Obama removed your Second Amendment rights. That is not helping mentally ill get guns. That is removing a unconstitutional, I don't even know what you want to call it, rule or whatever that uh, Obama put, put it, or, yeah, Obama put in. So I'm not too impressed. Oh, it's the, the the fake news is going to be coming pouring out on the left as Obama's uh, executive orders get ripped apart and shredded. You know, but they, they have running titles. Congress says let mentally ill buy guns. New York Daily News, gun crazy, making it easier for mentally troubled to get guns. And then Huffington Post, Congress just repealed rules to keep guns from mentally ill. Oh. And then they, uh, New York Daily News put a photo of the Sandy Hook shooter attacker. Uh, Adam Lanza, and it gives the impression that Social Security ban would have stopped 20-year-old like Lanza from buying a gun at retailers. Lanza wasn't a Social Security recipient. He had nothing to do with this type of uh, uh, overreach that Obama did. Uh -uh. They keep conflating and confusing issues. And it's an absolute ridiculous attack. But it's all they have is fake news and lies. Because if they posted the truth, the people wouldn't buy their or wouldn't back the Liberal Party. I don't know why people buy their crap as it is. Maybe they buy it for you know a good laugh. So Rand Paul recently had a meeting with uh, Trump. And he's of the mind of repeal it and replace it right now with Obamacare. And I agree. We need to repeal it, replace it, and go on. 
Enough of this crap playing uh, Tilly Winks with it. There is no repairing this monstrosity of a failure. Maybe they should have listened to Obama originally. And I, I'm giving a little credit to Obama. He wanted it to do it in pieces. Pelosi pushed for it to get done all at once. Get it all done. Get it through. Just push it through. And maybe if they had put it piece by piece, it could have worked better. They'd opened up to Republicans maybe a little bit more. Instead of thinking they know better. And that's the problem. They always think they know more than everybody else. We know better than you. No, you don't. And and the conservatives need to stop just because there's a little bad press. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's bad press. Let's run away. Let's run away. No. Man up. Do what you got to do. Do what the people elected you to do. Because we can elect other people just as quick. Just quickly. We can get you out of there and put the people we want in there. And if you haven't noticed, that's exactly what we did. We put in the people that are actually going to pass the laws and remove the laws we didn't want. We don't want Obamacare. We don't want that monstrosity. It's killing businesses. It's killing jobs. It's killing ways Americans make money to live. But you got a group of Republicans, and they're the establishment. You got the McCains. You got um, your Grams that have no guts whatsoever. You know, and those guys have sold their souls a long time ago. And I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, I know. And McCain's a war hero. Great. But there's only so long you can uh, uh, use that as a badge before it, that won't even work. I'm just, I'm not buying the bullshit. Nope. I'm done. The weekend's here. That's a good thing. I think I'm going to step away from all that is. Um, I'm done. <laughs> I need a break. I need a break from it. My ma- my mind has been really a dribble of late. It- it's overloading. It- it's it is what it is, but. Yeah, the weekend's here. Again, I want everybody to be safe. Just be safe. Have a great weekend, but be safe out there. Be smart. Don't back down from the liberals. Don't start fights, but don't back down. Don't ever back down. It's... Oh, a a recent poll came out, and um, there was a poll. Trump versus Warren. And... (laughs) Trump beats Warren. Uh, Forty-three percent said they would uh, vote, probably vote for a generic Democrat. Thirty-five percent would vote for Trump. Another twenty-three weren't sure. Pitted against Warren, 42 said they would support Trump compared to 36% for Warren. 22% weren't sure or had no opinion. 
And last thing I want to bring up, and probably going to end the show a couple minutes early. Um, an arrest. The third arrest has been made. Uh, anybody remember the reporting of uh, that Veritas did? Project Veritas, they did the videos. And they did the undercover journalism of... They did the undercover journalism with uh, uh, the the deplorable and how they were going to infiltrate it. How they were going to uh, get in there and, uh, you know, what was it, butyric acid? Well, from those videos... They have arrested three of the main actors. And they're being charged because of their plans. And they're saying, oh, no, no, no. We knew we were. They had tickets to the balls. They purchased tickets. They had done stuff that is showing that they were going to enact the plan. That It was all a bunch of cover-up to try to cover their legal activity. Three of them have been arrested. They're being charged. Listen, you want to protest, protest. You're against the president. Great. Be against the president. But when you start taking actions like this, they are illegal. And just because you think you're justified doesn't mean you are justified to do it. So, um, and with that, it's that time. I haven't said it in a while, but I just want everybody to know I appreciate everybody listening. I'm honored and... Have a great weekend. You've been listening to the Reverb of Common Sense with its host, Jersey Joe. You can tune in every day, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on hbpundit.com and shrmedia.com.